the potential capacity is, is just huge for the whole model of what base camp is, which is not just cardiac rehab, it's cardiac rehab and cardiac prevention and wellness services all bundled into a package that's gonna have a front-facing structure on, on 101, which is a busy throughway. And so it's my expectation is that we will immediately be super busy with both our own patients and filling out the, the rest of the capacity for the county. We are so excited to be going to Seaside. We are really excited for Base Camp to be there um, in the community, and we're excited for the Seaside community members to be able to experience Base Camp. Base Camp offers prevention wellness classes around movement, so we might offer a yoga class or a Zumba or a Tai Chi for balance. And then we also offer nutritional classes. It's important for us at Base Camp to be able to offer these programs free to our community members. We would like to remove all barriers to wellness that we can. So we're not only treating people when they need us, when they're sick or their hearts are failing them, but we can keep them healthy in the first place. And I think it's just something that we realize is the right thing to do. Base Camp and the Cardiac Rehab Program has as great a potential as any piece of equipment of any medication that we could add. When you look at groups of patients who have participated in rehab and those who haven't, you see a disparity in outcomes. And I know it will be a huge impact because of the absence of those, those services at this time. Having our own program uh, will be huge, both from a primary and a secondary prevention standpoint. One of the biggest things about what we do is building community around wellness. And so bringing people together who have similar goals that can motivate, inspire, support each other to work towards those goals is, is very important to us in the community we serve. We are so grateful for our donors and our foundations team who allow us to bring these free classes to the community so that we can empower them to be well. One of the joys of my professional life is that the, the home I found in Providence in caring for the poor and vulnerable because I've worked in other environments where that is not the sole focus. And to be involved with an organization where the sole focus is to provide that care and to make that access available to people is what gives me the knowledge that this will be the place that I retire from and the community that I continue to live in as I get older myself, mostly because of that. Providence does things that other health organizations are unwilling to do, and they do it based on a commitment that was made a long time ago, and we continue to live that mission every day.